wish I had my old job back. Maybe I should talk to you. Alright, so let's see what we have on the agenda here. We've got uh, the Irishman and we have Nigel. So let's go ahead and talk to the Irishman. Let's see what we got going on here. You will. Wait a minute. Help me, oh. Help me. I don't cut no. I'm not sure if that's the help you're looking for. But he was awful rough to me. Why can't all men be like you? A man's pride can make him do crazy things. Is there more going on? That's right. Okay. There are old edition newspapers for sale that you can purchase. Why would I want that? Alright. See what we got here. A Frenchman, a Welshman. Oh, yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving mick cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Here, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's going to turn black. Yeah. What's up, boys? <laughs> Fuck off, boy. Oh, this don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Boom. Look here. This paddy bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? Hmm. Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. This ain't nothing to do. I guess that's that then. Oh. I guess it is. Well, Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. Uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Machine gun? That's what I'm talking about. Uh, can we loot these dudes first? Alrighty, my guardian angel, this ah, way. Alright. Come on then, let's find this guy. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck, you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was the only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thick as thieves ever since, and that's right there. There's was two the cars. Come on, do you want this gun or not? Come on! You don't seem too upset about your friends getting killed. Life's too short for regret. And I don't grown them fools. Their boss is getting increasingly unreliable. I was the brains of the operation, as you imagine. Yeah. It looked like you had everything perfectly under control back there. What are you doing back there? Up to it, fella. Yeah. Not far now. The team and bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella. I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with. What here. in the world? What a terrible path. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chat. What about you helping me out? 
Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Wait a minute. You want me to take out all these people? Okay. Well, I'm just gonna mosey on up in there then. This ought to be fun. What the hell do you want? Hey, uh, don't shoot. Back off now before I put a hole in your skull. We got him. Stop that! Man, taking candy from a baby. Ain't no need to die, friend. Is that guy? Woo. Benefits of a missed Headshot. menu. Um, don't peek. Okay. I'm gonna load your gun. I said don't peek. Like you. That was easy. Sorry, partner. Put the gun up. Yeah. Excuse me. Don't mind if I help myself here. There's some music, that ain't gonna lie. You're mine now, you dumb bastard! Oh! You... Alright. Try that mess again. My horse is drunk or something. That is crazy. It's not here. I just that got drunk. sack of shit. Well, what have we got here? Okay. Okay. I don't want to lie to me like that? I gotcha. Where's this guy at now? I'm gonna tell him what my horse is doing. Where's the Irishman? He's way over here. Good grief. Well, we're gonna go track him down. Is there a faster way to get there? Benedict Point. If I can get that tumbleweed. Let's set up a campfire. That's not it. Get it somewhere near Tumbleweed. Well... Ridgewood, Plainview, Ridge, Ridgewood will do it, let's do, let's do Ridgewood, be good enough. I need to do this uh, treasure hunt and I need to get this uh, deadly assassin outfit, I gotta finish that too. Right now, let me get to this, uh, oh Irishman. Okay, 
Okay, my horse is crazy. Well, that's one way to do it. Oh, I'm coming for him now. This man lied to me. Man. Mm, okay. Okay. You better have a good excuse for this. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. Uh, I, I found you one. Uh. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> You don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <clears throat> it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. Oh. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh. Come on, Dad. Oh Let's my gosh, we're going to trust this guy again? Terrible. Making terrible life decisions right now. You're not going to pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right, Miss Raid. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between fair and meddling. Well, you're going to be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross <laughs> me again. It weren't like that at all, fella. The intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just gets a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion... I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus! You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your games. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you were more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. 
Not far now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gaff Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. Awesome. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. Hmm. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can the use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft. And Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. Uh... You're trespassing. State your business or move along. Kill that bastard! That's better! I forgot to equip my silencer. So you're about to get blown up. I got me one hell of a widow making a drill, you big boy. Ow. Oh. Come oh. on now. Oh. Stop okay. that. I'm gonna keep blocking fly and pay dirt. Better duck. You about to die, friend. Is this TNT? The answer to that question is yes. I need it more than you now. 
That probably wasn't a good idea. It was pretty funny though. Holy moly. Alright. Choices. Oh, I don't like that. Alright. Please don't shoot me. Can I move that? Because if I can put that right here. Not accidentally shoot ourselves. 